how to make a website on Webador from scratch. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with building your own professional website using Webador for free. So let's get into it. Now to get started, all you have to do is go on to webador.co.uk and click on get started on the top right over here. Then you're going to select what kind of website you want to build. If it's just a simple website, a blog, or a e-commerce web store so you're going to select whatever you want to build we're going to continue with a simple website and then you're going to enter the website title that you want and then after that you're going to click on continue and then you're just going to enter a suitable email address and password and then you're just going to click on get started over here to get started with building your website now first off you're going to see multiple different templates available to you and you can take a template that is most similar to the website that you're looking to create so whatever vision that you might have whatever idea that you might have for your website you're just going to scroll within these little templates and just take a look at the different templates and choose the one that you like you also have the browse section on your top so you can select what specific design that you might want so you can also click on all designs to view all of the different designs available you can click on business services to see the different business service templates so you have multiple different options to pick from and you can easily switch designs and you know customize the website so don't worry about that you're just going to be using Using the template as a base and then customizing the template to fit your business now over here what we're going to do is we're going to continue on with this template over here so you can click on start with this template and then you're just going to register your do domain name or continue on for free and then if you go with the free versions you're gonna have webador.co.uk in your domain name with all of the essential features however if you want to enter your own domain name you're gonna add, either have to go for the light pro or business version now on the pro version you can create a e-commerce store with up to 10 products and have one mailbox and all the features from free and one domain name on the light version but after that you also have the business version where you can add unlimited products to your e-commerce web store as well as one extra large mailbox and one domain name which will run you up to 18 pounds per month after the first three months so the first three months you're going to pay one dollar for each of these and if you choose to pay per year on the top over here uh, if you choose to pay per year you're going to get lower fees so it's going to end up $15 per month for the business version, 7.50 for the pro version, and $4 per month for the light version if you choose the yearly plan. So you're going to be saving around 17%. Now, we're just going to continue on with the free version to show you guys how to actually go on ahead and build your website. Now, over here, you can see the name that I entered. So you can see if I click on the name, I have options for text, logo, and logo and text. So if you have a website logo, you can can add logo and text or just the logo or text now if you do run a create a professional website i am assuming you have a logo i would recommend that you go ahead and post it now after that what you're going to do is you're going to click on the basic home page and you can click on edit over here and then edit the image as well so you can click on new image over here and then you can browse stock images as well as upload your own images from their image section so i'm just going to go on ahead and and take a few images like these and I'm gonna click on save and now I'm just going to use this image instead and then I'm just going to click on save on the bottom left over here to save my new image now you can see there is a empty block over here now let's say I want to add some text about my law firm then what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take the text section at the left side of my screen and I'm gonna drag it and drop it over here and now I can enter your text into this block so I can also delete this section from the top right arrow you can see these red arrows and these will just allow you to delete the section that is present up below them so let's say I want to go on ahead and add some let's say I want to add a video so for that you can see on your left you can scroll down 
and then click over here and drag and drop this and then add a video as well as well as adding any other things so you can add social icons uh, you can add comment boxes buttons products images or anything else but i'm just going to go on ahead and add some text and title over here and then once I have added this text, obviously you're going to add more text. This is going to be the home page of your website. Now, you can also view this in mobile view. You can see on your top left over here, you have this mobile icon. If you click on this, you can see how it's going to look like on your mobile phones. Then you can also click on pages on the top over here. And once you click on pages, you can begin managing your pages. So you can see this was our home page. That Then I can also add a new page and then I can add it with or with Without the banner let's say I want to do it without the banner and let's say the second page that I want to create is our specialities or our focus so I'm gonna click on save and then I can click on the our focus page and this new page will open up and I can begin designing this page so I can begin by adding tables so let's drag and drop a table over here and then you can add images and more style to this table you can see this is a striped table you can add a simple table or a uh, default table and you can also change up the design later on so let's say that you want to just begin adding things so you're just going to remove this and begin adding your own custom text and you can also choose the entire table like so and click on delete to delete the entire text and then you can customize this then below that you also have things like audio files that you can attach you have documents photo albums slideshow so you can drag and drop the slideshow over here and what I'm going to do is I can just expand this over here and I'm just going to expand it like so. And then you can begin by adding images. For adding images, you're just going to click on manage photos on the top left. You can click on upload images to begin uploading images or you can choose some stock photos as well. And in this way, you can add any of the basic features. You can add your products, sale buttons, forms, as well as uh, geographic information. So if you want to add any kind of social icons to your social media platforms then you can add those over here as well as add a map feature in the footer usually you would add that in the footer to actually illustrate where your firm or where the physical location of your business is now once you have done that, you can also click on design over here to customize your accent colors. Let's say I want to do it in blue. So I'm just going to select the accent color. This would be used all over my website. And then after that, I'm going to just click on save over here on the bottom left and then i'm going to click on publish and then i can just choose my domain name now after that i'm just going to choose the free website domain name that is going to be provided and just like that my website has been created and i've created this free website using webador you can see it's a very professional looking website and obviously with the free version it, there is the caveat of having create a free website with webador present at the bottom but usually if you have a longer page it's not even in focus Focus, so it is going to be a lot more easier for you to create your website with a simple tool like this one and it's really not that expensive to get started with webador's website building services especially considering how professional and customizable their websites are once you have created their website you can go onto your profile and click on edit over here to edit the website or click on more and click on statistics over here to view the overall statistics of your website so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video